Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking this week at common misses that you guys are having in your matches, in your practices. And today specifically, we're gonna dissect the three reasons that I see you guys missing your serve in the net far too often. All right, so let's hop into it. The first is the left hand, the tossing hand for all you right-handed hitters. It would be the right hand for all you lefties. Big reason you guys will miss a lot of those serves in the net is in part to this left arm. After you guys toss, it drops too early. You know, and I, I preach about this trophy pose all the time, trying to reach a position where we set and we hold for that split second as we're about to go up to the ball to maximize reach and power and all that good stuff, okay? So for all you players out there that are seeing that serve go in the net, a lot of times it's because you guys will toss and as the ball's coming up out of your hand, your left arm just starts dropping. It's like you're holding on to a weight and you can't maintain that upright left arm position for simply that split second. And as that left arm starts to drop, you guys wanna remember, arms, our arms are heavy. They can dictate a lot of what the rest of the body is going to do. So as you guys drop that left arm early, it's not going to allow the right side to go up and maximize this reach. We're going to end up getting pulled down with the right side and ultimately not executing a good amount of reach and pulling on the ball a little bit too early. And that always is going to produce a ball that drops into the net. So that first fix, make sure that you guys are trying to maintain that trophy pose for a split second longer so that that left side doesn't give you a chance to pull down on the ball too quickly. All right, secondly, the head. The head is a huge key to you guys being able to get that serve over the net. And the head, a lot of times will drop as well, okay? So you take a look, I go up, and as I go to swing, why would my head drop? Ultimately, what are we gonna be looking at? We're looking at what's going on on the other side of the court. We wanna know the result of this shot. And when the head drops, which is a lot of times because you guys are starting to take a peek at the result before you've even hit the ball, the head drops and it, and it plays a similar role to what happened when the left arm drops. The head drops, the shoulders tilt. So the right shoulder now, which should be underneath the left shoulder as we're going up to the ball. Now as the head drops, the right shoulder's above the left shoulder and it's yanking everything downward. And it's again, something we can't recover enough height on the ball to get it over the net. So make sure the left hand stays high and the head stays up so that we maximize that reach and we're getting good net clearance. Okay, those are the two big culprits. The third one I see is, is a little less um, common and you know, I don't want you guys to overthink it too much, but I think it makes sense to you guys that if the toss gets a little too far out in front of me, and while I do want to see a, a toss that stays in front of your body, we got to remember we're hitting up to ultimately hit down. And a lot of times as, as the racket gets to the ball here, it's shutting significantly and it's shutting quickly and there's just nothing to help the ball get over. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys today. I hope that was super helpful. I'm seeing too many misses in the net. On a, on a shot that should you know, be a, a nice successful shot for you guys. So work on those three things to clean up that miss in the net. You guys are on your way to making a lot more serves, okay? So until next time, please click like below this video. If you guys have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You guys will find the link to three free courses that Mark and I have put together. I think you guys will find those really fun, really helpful. All right, so be well, and we'll see you soon.